Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the well, what is it? 19th. So, right around the 19th, we're gonna see what we got. Remember, remember that the timing is fluid. All right, so what do we got? What do we have? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Nine of Wands, growing weary. We have somebody here that has come a long way. They may have some doubts, thinking about giving up, but they need to remember how far they've come. You know? They've come a long, long way, uh, having a lot of doubts. About ready, about ready to give in <laughs> or give up the fight or something like that. But this is a strong person. So we do have a strong person who has, you know, fought a lot of battles. All those, those behind them are battles, okay? There's so much brightness in the back, it's going to ha be hard to uh, focus. Here we go. Those are all battles. Somebody has fought a lot of battles and they've won. So there's don't give up. Look at look at all the uh, blossoms here. There's only a little ways left to go. Okay, you only got a little ways left to go before you find the success. Before you can stop doing whatever it is that you're doing, you know, before you've reached the peak of, well, you're, you probably have reached the peak or it's real damn close of reaching the peak. Um, about, about pretty soon you're going to be able to let this go. You're going to be, it's all going to be behind you. Don't give up. Two of Swords, Six of Wands, Reverse. Now, Six of Wands, Reverse is a loss of some sort. Fighting, battling. And this is like fear, in denial, avoidance. Avoiding the truth, avoiding something because of fear. Protecting, not wanting to put in effort. Somebody doesn't want to put in effort because they just, I don't know if they're lazy you know, this is somebody who's fought too much. This is like sick of it. I think we may have somebody that's very getting frustrated. Getting frustrated. Getting sick of this battle. Constant battle by the looks of things. Um, this is a setback with the Six of Wands reverse. This is, this is some sort of setback. Unwelcome news. No staying power. Somebody is losing, losing their staying power, or this is blocking success, blocking success, blocking victory. Somebody's victory is, and it's because of their inability to open up their eyes and see things from a new perspective. Somebody needs to open up their eyes and see things from a new perspective, but they're refusing not to. And therefore, they're losing something. They're losing or they're failing because this is a fail. This is a fail. It's a fail to succeed because of a choice that you are making. So you're making the choice that is causing you not to succeed. You have to choose to open your eyes and look at things from another perspective. This is somebody that is blocking. They're just choosing not to see. There could also be fear of a fear of a battle, you know, because this could be fear and this could be a fight. Fear of losing, fear of embarrassment, because this can be like some sort of public humiliation. Who gives a shit what other people think? If you give a shit what other people think, then that is your ego. Then your ego is huge if you give a shit what other people think. So, you know, I think we have somebody here that is very frustrated. They've, 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 uh, they may be angry even with this Nine of Wands, angry at life, you know? This is facing life challenges. 
having to find the strength to face the life challenges. And it's not easy. But it's, it makes it much, much, much harder when you let other people decide your fate. So anyway, we have somebody here that is facing life challenges right now. They're, and you know, they've almost reached the point where it will all be behind them. But they are still, I don't know, it's like fighting. Fighting their emotions. This is fighting still. The battle isn't over yet. It's almost over. It is almost over. I just got to tell you because of this wand, the, the growth that's going up. So the, the battle is almost over, but it's not over yet because of somebody's choice. Somebody is choosing not to see things correctly. Okay, and that's the way it is. I'm not going to see it any other way. Okay, and that's ego. Okay, so somebody has to face their ego. They do. They have to face their pride. And this is a prideful, smug, cocky individual right here. Very egotistical. Six of Wands reversed. So we have a very egotistical, and it's, you know, it's probably the person watching this. That is choosing not to see. And you know what happens is our ego gets hurt when we are rejected. Or when we fear embarrassment. Or when we fear public humiliation. That's our ego. Or we are publicly humiliated by our friends or our family or or are embarrassed because of a choice that we made. That's our ego. That's our pride getting hurt. So somebody's pride is hurt, definitely. Or they're afraid of getting their pride hurt. So, you know, they're holding on to some sort of baggage. They're holding on to some sort of burden that they need to let go of. Just let it go. Why, why keep holding on to it if you don't want it? Don't get angry at the world if you're choosing to hold on to it. If you're choosing not to see. If you're living in denial, that's your own fault. So anyway, we definitely have somebody here that is blocking success because of their, you know, perseverance, their fear of being embarrassed, their fear of humiliation. They're fighting their own demons, right? There's a need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower to let go of whatever it is that is causing this battle within you because this is a fucking battle. Let it go. Let it go. Two of Pentacles reverse. Now that is a change is needed. There's lacking balance, lacking organization. We have somebody here that is trying to do too much and they are extremely overwhelmed. Going against the flow. Very unflexible. We have somebody here that is not flexible. Very, very uh, determined to hold on to something. Oh my what? Why can't you let things go? This is a poor decision. Somebody is making a poor decision. Trying to prove something. And Well, it's their ego. I know that it is. I know that it's ego. The, the pride. The pride is in the way of letting go. There's a need to be flexible. There's a need to adapt, to change. We have somebody here that is refusing to change. Probably pointing the finger at somebody else. Oh, no, you got to change. Wrong answer. Waiting. This person waiting. What the hell are you waiting for? You waiting for somebody else to change? This part, the person you're waiting for to change, that person ain't gonna fucking change. Uh uh. Open your fucking eyes.
This is a loss. Let it go. So somebody is making a poor decision. Yeah, this is a very, then it could be even a poor financial decision. This is a poor decision. Somebody is thinking about their next move for sure. Definitely thinking about it. Overwhelmed, frustrated. This is a poor financial decision. Now the six of wands reversed is uh, an overinflated ego. This is a somebody that is all show that doesn't follow through because they, they may feel like they're a warrior or something like that, but they're not, okay? This is not a warrior because their ego is in the way. I mean, if you're a warrior, you don't give a shit, okay? You really don't give a shit what other people think. A true warrior, okay, turns their back and does what's best for them. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people don't want to agree with that, but that's the truth. You have to do what's best for you. The only person that you need to be loyal to, well, you need to be loyal, but is to you. I'm not saying not to be loyal to other people, but your loyalty to you needs to come first. Every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. It comes out for a reason. Inability to see the truth, choosing not to see, holding on to some sort of partnership. And I don't know what this partnership is, and I know it's a partnership because of these twos. Somebody, and it's a partnership of some sort. And there's no harmony in the partnership, there's no serenity, there's no peace, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of uh, battling. It's just, it's just uh, all show. It's all fucking show. <laughs> this is an overwhelming show, that's for goddamn sure. So anyway, yeah. Somebody is putting on a really good show and it is really stressing them out. It's getting to be too much. It's getting to be overwhelming. This show is getting to be overwhelming. Time to go. Six of Swords. It's time to go. It's time to move on. It's time to take that journey. It's, it's a time of transition. Leave it behind. Get on board. Go in another direction. It's time. It's time for balance. It's time for harmony. It's time to get your life back on track. But the only one that's going to do that is you. Unless you want to keep playing. And putting on the show. So it is definitely time to go. There's an opportunity to move, to move towards harmony, to move towards a better place. Somebody is uh, being told to do that and they're thinking about it right now. They are definitely thinking about it. Should I keep, should I keep investing in this? Should I keep trying to wait for this? Should I, or should I move on? So that somebody is definitely thinking about it. My advice is to move on, move on. You are wasting your time on somebody a partnership and I don't know what this partnership is it could be with anybody where there's no love because there ain't no love in these cards okay it's not love I don't see any passion either I don't even see longevity I don't see long-term success I see that it's all a show open your eyes Stop pretending. We have somebody here that is thinking, definitely, about moving on. They may be giving up a fight. They may be deciding to give up, because this is a decision. But there's some contradiction here, because we got two's are decisions. And we got one that's upright and one is reversed. So we definitely have some opposition here. So we got somebody here that's having a hard time deciding. My advice is to go. Stop wasting your time. There's no victory. This may be a setback in your life that you chose. Choosing. This is choosing. This is choosing. Somebody has chose 
They have made a decision and now they have to make another difficult decision. Do you want to continue to lose and stay down or do you want to go to a better place? What the hell is it going to be? One more card. You got to open your eyes. You got to do something about it. Nobody's going to do it for you. This is a soul ownership here. The ownership lies within you, not the other person. So for all of you watching this, pointing at your ex, pointing at your partner, pointing at whoever you work with, oh, fuck no. You are in charge. One more card. Ten of Cups. Happiness is waiting. That's what's waiting on the other side. Happiness. It's all about happiness. What's going to make you happy? What is going to make you happy? What your neighbors think? Is that what really makes you happy? What your friends think? What your family thinks? That's what really, you really, really, that's what makes you happy. What social media thinks? That's fucking happiness? Oh, okay. I hope you sleep well at night. This is happiness. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But you, and that's not anybody else, have to choose. 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 Happiness. You might have to fight for it. It may not be an easy battle. But if you want it, you have to open your eyes. Stand up. And let go. Because after the Nine of Wands is the Ten of Wands. Drop it. Whatever it is that is holding you down, that has brought you to your knees, that is making you think, is this worth it? If you have to think... If this is worth it, it's not. Good luck.